My name is Comrade Sonny Ofehe, a human and environmental rights activist from the oil rich Niger Delta region of Nigeria. I am an advocate of a non violent means of tackling the human and environmental challenges faced by the impoverished people of the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. In 2016, I presented the case of the Ogoni people of the region at the ninth session of the United Nations Forum on Minority Issues. I think the world needs to know the consequences of oil extraction on the lives of the ordinary people, and together we can make their environment a better place. The Royal Dutch Shell discovered crude oil in Ogoni land in 1956 before Nigeria gained independence. The Ogoni people have been victims of human rights violation for many years. Records have shown that between 1976 and 1991, there were around 2,976 oil spills of about 2.1 million barrels of crude oil in Ogoni land, accounting for about 40% of Shell's total global oil spills. In 1993, following the protests to stop Shell from laying a new pipeline, led to police invading communities resulting in the death of 2,000 Ogoni people, mainly elders, women, and children, with more than 80,000 Ogonis displaced. A UNEP report in 2007, the United Nations Environmental Protection UNEP agency carried out assessment of over 200 locations in Ogoni land. They found out that the impacts of the 50 years of oil operations in the region extended deeper than originally thought. This was as a result of oil spills, gas flaring, and waste discharge. The assessment has been unprecedented. Over a 14-month period, the UNEP team examined more than 200 locations, surveyed 122 kilometers of pipelines right of way. The issue is not stopping the oil companies from doing business, but the, the significance of doing business should be that the environment of the people are properly protected. And if there are incidents of oil spills, um, environmental damages, there should be remediation and there should be compensation paid to the people who are affected. And that is our call. And I want to appeal to you all to join in this crusade to see that the lives of these people are properly protected and given proper human dignity.